Hi everyone. So let's um, let's actually look at some concrete examples from chapter nine um, about disproving things. So just to get us all on the same page, when we talk about disproving a statement P, we mean proving not P. Um, so it you know that can be a lot of different things, but for example. If we have a statement which is a universally quantified statement, so it's of the form for all x in a set S, the state the open sentence P of X is true, then when as we've seen repeatedly, and I think hope is sinking in, the negation of that is that there exists an X in the set S for which the property is not true, or for which not of the property is true. So here's a very simple example. Suppose the original statement is, um, so here I've written, if n is an integer and n to the fifth is even, then n is even. So remember that a lot of these if statements, when put in this form, have an implicit for all quantifier in them. So this statement really says, for all n in z, if n to the fifth minus n is even, then n is even. The negation of that statement is there exists n in z and now we have to negate this conditional statement and remember the, the best way to negate not p implies q is P and not Q. So in this particular case, there exists an N in Z such that P is true. So N to the fifth minus N is even. Let me put such that. N to the fifth minus N is even. And N is odd. So that's where this statement came from. This came, statement came from taking this if then, if P then Q, and taking its negation, which is P and not Q. And of course, not of N is even is that N is odd. So if we want to disprove the original statement, we have to prove its negation. And that means we have to find an N in Z such that n to the fifth is even and n is odd. Well, one way to find an n is to try some. And if you try n equals one, then you see that n to the fifth minus n is even because it's zero, but n itself is odd because it's one. So it didn't take us very long to find an integer that satisfied the condition n to the fifth minus n is even and the condition n is odd, namely n equals one. And this n, which proves the negation of the original statement, is called a counterexample to the original statement. So n equals one is a counterexample to this statement. This is false, and n equals one is a counterexample. Okay.